there. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Vladimir. The place we're speaking about is located in California Adventure, and it is called? It's surrounded by water. Yeah, what is it called? Lamplight Lounge. Yes, Lamplight Lounge. I'm having here, it's called 2319. Okay, so let me try this and we'll look another food update. Oh, yeah. Strawberry puree, cream of coconut, pineapple juice, and Coca-Cola. So it's kind of very and weird cool. looking. That is real good. You know, it's kind of nice. The top, it, you can taste all this. First, I was thinking it's too much stuff inside. This will mix up. But no, it's actually come up very good. The one only thing, you need thicker straw for this because I think some of the stuff frozen there and ice because it's frozen, they kind of start to get clogging. Mm. You definitely can taste strawberries. You can taste the coconut and a pineapple. I'm, I'm really surprised because those flavors, they don't mix together. You actually can taste them as separate and it's excellent, excellent combination. And beside that, you have it right here, pineapple, mm. just to try it. I'm trying mint to be. It has lemonade in it and watermelon and strawberry puree, mint, and there's some soda water in it too. So I love mint in my drinks. I have so much mint in our yard. I taste the mint and it's oh it is kind of kind of like a mint tulip, but not a lot. The lemonade and the mint are really strong. It's a good like um, the watermelon and the mint, mint kind of a little bit softer and the lemon. Um, this is a good, a good combination. So really good. I love Brussels sprouts. I know Amy does not like it, but Brussels sprouts is like one of my favorite. And, mm, you know, the crispy. The one thing how I cook my Brussels sprouts, I usually steam them first, and after, after steam, I fry them. So then you will take bitterness away from them when you steam them first. And you put lemon juice a little bit, so you have it the way you cook. These ones cook a little bit different from mine because they're like fry and crispy inside. But you did not properly them because you don't have this bitterness when you taste them. And they probably blanch them before this. And we have a sauce here with the Parmesan cheese, croutons. So right here, you can see it. There you go. Okay, so let's try. Crispy outside, still be soft inside. It's almost like full meal. And the portions is big, it's nice. And they call the small bites. I don't know how much, how smaller it can be. You know what? I love it. Mm, really, really good. Brussels sprouts and me are not friends. There's one person in this world that has picked Brussels sprouts for their life, and that's Vladimir. Croutons, garlic croutons, um, some roasted pine nuts. Scariest bite for me. Cold. people that can cook Brussels sprouts for me. The Brussels sprout still comes through after I bite into it, but all the garlic and the flavor and the sauce, the Parmesan cheese, do a lot. They do a lot for it. They really help it out a lot. It's really quite pretty. I've actually wanted to like Brussels sprouts in my life, because I think they're so cute. That's good, that makes me say I like Brussels sprouts. So there is, there is a lot going on in here. We have this avocado, we have this red pepper butter. I'm excited about this with the pineapple relish on pork chops. So it's just, the presentation really is beautiful. Um, so I'm just gonna dig in here, take the bite. It's put, I like, it's cooked really well. Oh yeah, and the butter kind of comes into that too, a little bit, I taste 
or actually that's probably the cheese that I'm tasting it because it was a little bit different than butter but that is a really delicious pork chop nice things the interesting thing if you can look it's look like Mickey right here we have a green stuff yeah, here's jalapeno it's a very nice jalapeno taste I think it's like avocado jalapeno and you know I'm not a big fan of polenta personally but this is this is real good and it's worked very very good with the, all of this sauce so let's go die in the pork and it's nice thing it's already pre-cut so what I'm going to do I'm going to put all of this good stuff on top right here a little bit of this sauce a little bit of that let's put a little bit of the peppers a little bit of red stuff so we'll just mix everything because best things it's come together and look on this it's glistening pork very soft very nice so we'll go try it you can feel that smokiness from the grill coming very good it's a full of flavors which is kind of nice it's not simple people recommend the dish and i see a reason why because this is almost must to have so let me grab one onion we'll go destroy the mickey ear mm, i love grilled onion the sweetness and all of this mixed together i mean this dish is a not if it's must to try Soft inside, yeah? Right, right, really right. Cool. it really is. So this one actually, when the first time I look, I'm like, I need to order this. It's a kan pao bao. It's a pork belly meat with a bao bread. Actually, the bread, if you look, it's, or bao, it's very soft. It's a little bit nice spongy. So inside here, if you can see, you have the ribs, you have a red peppers, onions, sesame. I see flakes of the peppers, um, green onions, and a little bit of cilantro on the top. Try it. Top, it's caramelized. It's actually very beautiful caramelization on the top. It's a perfect combining with other, with sweetness, it's worked very well together. So you definitely cannot take ingredients out. This is a must be eaten together as one. So let me try one more time. It's really good. They have it actually here in lounge. They have it nice couches, soft, good. So after this, I just need to go lay down on the couch and go asleep. Rara Roche donuts that I've just been excited to try since I heard about them. Um, have this chocolate topping on them. Dipping sauces, and this is Nutella and a coconut cream. So I love donuts. <laughs> Anything fried dough with sugar on it, I love. This is a fresh donut. It's, it's not quite a cake donut, but it's really good. Mm. So I'm I'm going into the coconut coconut cream. I'm going into the coconut cream first and try it. Coconut flavor, a little bit subtle in this, but it's good. It's just a really nice flavor. And now into the Nutella, and it looks like Ferrer Rocher crumbles. Nutella is always good, but I think my favorite of the two is actually the coconut cream dip. I'm not a big fan of the donuts, actually, in general of the bakes and sweets. But you know, one um, when I was in cooking school, it did require you to learn how to bake and do all the stuff. So let's go ahead and do one thing. So right now, this is donuts, and I do like the small size. This is my size of the donut, okay? What are we going to do? Try first with the coconut, I think. It's a good donut. Mmm, and that is good. That is a very good cream. Yeah, definitely worked together very well. So let's go try the 
I don't know. I like this one better. Better like turn I think yeah. I like, well, but I, I'm a chocolate person. Yeah. So I like the biting size of the donuts. This is very, very clever dessert. Very well to finish your food with this. Definitely, it's what you must do. It's seasonal. Yeah. That is a problem, but it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Let us know what do you think about this. What is your perception on this food? And Vladimir, it's so we have such a different kind of a palate, a different way that we taste it. Vladimir, like I said before, was a chef in a former life in a former Soviet Union kind of a place. Um, but then he comes home and if we are having a big party, Vladimir's the one that does the cooking. He knows the spices. He's... Hey, but taste is always different. For example, I can eat caviar with a spoon. Literally, I take oh, caviar and eat gross. with a spoon. Or I love like cod liver or I like other things that some people find uh, repulsive. Well, I like fish, just not <laughs> You start liking more after you <laughs> me. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm way more flexible though, except for the, the caviar and the Brussels sprouts, which it turns out some people can make them the way I like them. But general, it is depend on what you like it, but I have found general between different tastes of Amy and me, the food is very good. Mm -hmm. yep. I think they've done a great job. Well, thank you for watching this video. Click like and subscribe and all the things. <laughs>